Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Hurricane. Welcome back to the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. Back at home and in the rain, the Jacksonville Jaguars host their division rivals, the Tennessee Titans. The Jaguars enter with one victory, Tennessee with three. And Zach Mettenberger makes the start in place of injured rookie quarterback Marcus Mariota. Can the Jaguars end this seven game losing streak? Welcome to week 11 everybody, we are underway. Brian Anger gets us started, it's Trey McBride on the return. And McBride is down at the 21 of Tennessee. Mettenberger leads the offense and he's done a good job so far this season filling in for Mariota. Three receivers plus Delaney Walker on first and 10. Fake to Bishop Sankey, open man downfield as Doriel Green Beckham the rookie receiver and the quick hit gets 22 yards on the first play for Tennessee. There is quite a bit of talent to defend in this Tennessee passing game. Now it's Harry Douglas on the catch, that's good for six. At their own 49, again out of the shotgun, fake to Sankey. Time for Mettenberger, he goes deep and Sergio Brown can't reel in the interception. Hit him right in both hands. Third down and four, Kendall Wright slot left. Mettenberger, down the middle, complete. Kendall Wright into Jaguar territory to the 35 yard line. Mettenberger hitting a lot of wide open passes and now their first run on the day is a loss of five thanks to Dante Fowler. Backed up to the 40, three minutes into the drive, Sankey carries once again. Puzlozny pursues and the tackle is made by Sergio Brown. Jaguars are showing blitz on third down, Titans need nine. Mettenberger downfield to Delaney Walker inside the 20. They've moved the ball well in the air and the Jaguars are giving up too much separation. At the 18, swing out against the blitz and Sankey is wrapped up by Jonathan Cyprian back at the 21. Under center, Mettenberger, pump hand off, here goes Bishop Sankey up the middle, Fowler there again, short gain. Another third down, now with 9.20 to go in the first quarter. Time for Mettenberger, end zone shot and nearly picked off by Devon House. He couldn't keep his feet in bounds. Great job against Kendall Wright. 3-0 Tennessee and now for the Jaguar offense to take the field. Two tight ends, Blake Bortles and the pistol. Back to pass for the first time and complete over the middle to Julius Thomas for his 64th reception. At their own 36 yard line, a third down handoff and TJ Yeldon doesn't quite get it. Stopped by Jarrell Casey, but the Jaguars keep their offense on the field. Fourth and inches and TJ Yeldon converts this time. Jaguars getting aggressive, not much to lose when you're one and eight. From the 46 yard line, play fake. Time for Bortles, he fires outside to Allen Robinson who makes the catch inside the Titan 40. Great play all around to move the sticks. At the 39 of Tennessee, Hantaff goes outside to TJ Yeldon and that is stopped by Brian Arakbo. Only six yards on the ground so far for Yeldon, now second down. Pass is complete over the middle to Marquise Lee at the 29 yard line. Facing a third down in inches, Clay Harbor leads the way and Tennessee gets the stop this time with Avery Williamson stopping TJ Yeldon. Jacksonville content settling this time, they'll go for the field goal try. 47 yards from Jason Myers and he knocks it through. This AFC South clash is tied. We'll see if the defense does a better job containing this Tennessee passing game. Back to pass, Mettenberger. Outside to Doriel Green Beckham, his second reception. This one's good for 20 yards. The man blitzes are not working for Jacksonville. New set of downs, Sankey inside. And he's wrapped up by James Michael Johnson after a solid game. Facing third down and three, Mettenberger takes the snap. Fires left and that's knocked away by Devon House. Good coverage against Harry Douglas. Jacksonville forces the game's first punt. Now a toss for TJ Yeldon and there's nothing on the edge as he's stopped for a big loss by Arakbo once again. After a loss of five, Bortles stands at his own goal line, takes the shotgun snap and stumbles. Down goes Bortles, that's a safety. The first sign of the rain playing a factor as Bortles loses his footing and Casey comes up with the two point play. We have an awkward five to three score here late in the first. Tennessee's drive begins with Bishop Sankey carrying close to midfield. Nobody playing more than six or seven yards off for Jacksonville. Mettenberger back to pass and that's knocked away by James Michael Johnson. 
That sets up third and short. Delaney Walker, the motion man, fake to Sankey. Mettenberger going deep and overthrows his man. Kendall Wright against Jonathan Cyprian. And we're lucky Mettenberger didn't make this pass. Tennessee can't get anything after the safety punt. 5-3, Bortles hit again, but throws complete to Allen Robinson. And Bortles is still perfect on the day. Second down and 13, Bortles. Passing short, that's caught by Denard Robinson. And he takes the ball up to the 25-yard line, setting up third down. Lee and Robinson to the right side. Zone blitz on third down, and Jacksonville converts with Bortles hitting Allen Hearns at the 37-yard line. Hearns definitely a big part of the offense as of late, making a lot more plays. Now a screen goes his way, and if Lee can complete that block, who knows how far Allen Hearns can run. Facing a third down and three, empty shotgun. Bortles outside, that is intercepted by Denoris Searcy. Going back the other way. Tennessee capitalizes again. Pick six, Titans. If you're going to attempt this, you have to lob it way further out there to give Yeldon a shot. Two big mistakes by this Jacksonville offense. Now a nine-point game. Yeldon carries on first down, gets into the open field. In Titan territory, beats two Titans to the edge, and there he goes on one play. A 71-yard touchdown for TJ Yeldon. We're used to his one-yard scores. Now one in the 71-yard variety. I can't believe he made it past those two Titans, but it's now 12 to 10 in the second quarter. Zach Mettenberger hands off and Bishop Sankey carries inside for a gain of about seven. Showing blitz on third down, they bring it, but Mettenberger counters with the crossing pattern and that is good for a first down to Harry Douglas. At their own 44, another blitz. Mettenberger to his right, that's hauled in by Walker for a short pickup, but a flag. I'm guessing holding against Tennessee, and it's actually holding against the Jaguars. They get Demetrius McRae. Now in Jaguar territory after the foul, and it's David Cobb, the rookie from Minnesota. Look at his strength. Inside the 35, that's a 14-yard run. Another well-blocked play, but look at this show of power from David Cobb. Douglas sent in motion as Mettenberger pitches outside. Here's Sankey, and Telvin Smith was hit by Byron Bell, but he still recovers to make the tackle. 4.36 to go in the half, and on third down, Mettenberger lobbing downfield for Doriel Green. Beckham, and that's knocked away by Demetrius McRae. A well-defended wheel route. McRae stays inside Green Beckham and gives him the chance to make that play. Tennessee adds three, and is now 15-10. 4.22 to go in the half as that throw is cut by Allen Robinson. Little spot concept for about six. Third down, Denard Robinson in the game. Bortles underneath a Julius Thomas. He had Marquise Lee open, and Thomas didn't get the first down. A quick three and up by Jacksonville, and Tennessee takes over with plenty of time to operate. But Sankey is dropped for a loss on first down by Cinderic Marks. This defense has done a good job making plays on first down, and they almost made one on second. James Michael Johnson drops the interception. From the 24 I formation, they will run on third down as Sankey is going nowhere. Telvin Smith makes the tackle, and Jacksonville now has the time to work. One minute, six seconds on the clock, two timeouts remain. Bortles outside to Allen Hearns for a first down near midfield. He does a great job on those dig routes. 47 seconds remain. Bortles from the pocket to Hearns again, but he can't hang on. That time he got separation on the post. Empty shotgun once again, it's third down and 10. Bortles hits, but a first down catch is made by Julius Thomas. Great job by Bortles staying in the pocket and delivering an on-target pass. Jaguar stay empty. Zone blitz gets the pressure and Arakbo throws down Bortles as he throws incomplete. 31 seconds on the clock, a third down. Bortles downfield, he has Lee! He makes the catch, but out of bounds! Marquise Lee almost picks up the first down as Bortles saw nothing but white jerseys. But Lee didn't get a single foot down, it appears. Jason Myers now to attempt a 49-yard field goal. From left hash, the kick is on the way and it just hooks inside. It's 15-13. At the half, we have a two-point contest that's been a very good game. Jacksonville's offense has made some mistakes, and Tennessee capitalizing has them on top.
A trend for Jacksonville on this losing streak has been losing the turnover game. They have the third most giveaways this season and are 29th in takeaways. Once again, big offensive mistakes have them playing from behind. Jacksonville ball to begin the third quarter and Julius Thomas drops a ball in the flats. Three wide formation on third, down and seven. Tennessee brings five and Bortles is down. Sacked by Derek Morgan, a quick three and out to begin the half. Tennessee starts with great field position. Off the fake, Mettenberger wants to roll and he had to stop before he wanted to and that forced the errant pass. Offset eye on second down, Sankey gets the carry and he's stopped in the backfield. Demetrius McCray with a solid run fill. Tennessee forced into a third and 10. Mettenberger going deep, he has Kendall right open. He makes the catch, that's a Titan touchdown. 52 yards. The Jaguars ran at cover six. Two defenders on the opposite side, leaving Cyprian alone to defend both Delaney Walker and Kendall Wright. Tennessee capitalizes to make it 22-13, and Bortles stumbles again, which brings up another Jarrell Casey sack. Loss of six. Tennessee off to a great start in this third quarter as Bortles throws left to Julius Thomas, makes a solid reception, and powers his way to the 30 for a gain of 13. Two receivers left, third down and four. And Bortles hit again, that forces an incompletion. And Jacksonville has back-to-back -back three and outs in this half. Tennessee ball, Walker the motion man, Mettenberger hands off, and Sankey lost the football, and it's recovered by Cyprian. Now the defense comes up big. Michael Bennett forces the fumble, and Cyprian recovers after initially missing to give the Jaguars the ball in Tennessee territory. Yeldon carries and there's nowhere for him to go. Outside of his long touchdown, not much has been gained. A third down and 12, Tennessee sends a zone blitz and Robinson makes the catch on the outside as Jacksonville gets a big conversion inside the red zone. Inside nine minutes, handoff Yeldon cuts inside and picks up around six. Jaguars at the nine, two tight ends in the game. It's a toss for Yeldon, a block from Can. There goes Yeldon for his second touchdown on the day. Tennessee wasn't expecting the pitch on third and short, and Jacksonville has made this a one score game again. 22 to 20 here midway through the third. Mettenberger hands off and Bishop Sankey is corralled again by Dan Scuda. At their own 23, second down, it's a keeper, a little zone read for Zach Mettenberger, and he actually picked up around seven yards. No one saw it coming. Now in the pistol on third and two, they'll try it again, and this time the Jaguars aren't fooled. Stopped by Telvin Smith in the backfield. Brett Kern on to punt this one away, Jacksonville's defense stepping up. Marquise Lee tracks down the spot and has trouble with it, Recovers, now he's back on his feet, makes a man miss, and the same man makes the tackle. All around a very strange play. But back out come the Jaguars offense, and TJ Yeldon's given them two big runs. Now some outside zone, and here goes Yeldon as he makes a move and picks up another first down. Now for a gain of 12. All of these big runs have gone to the left side. On second down, big hit on Bortles in the backfield as he throws incomplete. A third down forced, empty shotgun for Bortles on third and five. Blitz brought, and Bortles throws off the mark to the covered Allen Robinson, and the Jaguars stall. It's Tennessee ball with 3.12 to go in the third quarter. Mettenberger has a wide open man, that is Harry Douglas, for a first down gain of 10. On second down, David Cobb in the game. Mettenberger downfield for Green Beckham, who makes this catch over Demetrius McCray. This one good for 20, giving him three 20 plus yard catches on the day. Sankey on the carry on first down, he gets a block from Green Beckham and he's inside the 10 for a gain of 19. Back to back plays net them almost 40 yards. Now Cobb on first and goal, runs inside the five. Determined running again, he stopped at the one. Sankey returns on third and goal. He runs up the middle and into the end zone for a Titan touchdown. Great drive by Tennessee as they get a couple big plays and they're back up by two scores. 29 to 20 as Jacksonville takes over here in the fourth. Screen for Yeldon and nobody blocked Avery Williamson. Loss of one on the play. 
They've really slowed down this Jaguars passing offense, and that's thanks to a lot of very good zone blitzing. On second down, check down to Yeldon. He breaks one tackle, but not the second. Only a gain of one. Jacksonville trying to get something going on offense. Third and eight. Bortles is intercepted again. It's Jason McCourty inside the 20. Nobody's going to catch him. The second pick six thrown by Blake Bortles. The Tennessee defense has done a great job in this game. They've gotten pressure. They've created turnovers. And now the Titans have a chance to go up by three scores. Big two-point conversion. And Tennessee converts. It's a 17-point game with 12.39 to go. The safety in both pick sixes have given Tennessee 17 points. That's their lead right now. Bortles on first and 10, throws downfield to Allen Hearns. He runs the dig route once again for 17 yards. At the 43-yard line, trips left. Bortles up the seam, as a man open. It's Aurelius Ben inside the 25 of Tennessee. 34 yards. That was a great play call against the cover three zone. On second down, Bortles hit and throws off the mark in the direction of Julius Thomas. Another key third down for Jacksonville, third and four, and complete to Marquise Lee. That's a first down inside the 10. Jacksonville on the move. Rashad Green now in the game. Bortles lobbing corner of the end zone. Rashad Green makes the catch, it's a touchdown. What a grab by the rookie from Florida State. His feet are down, he has control, that one counts. 37-27 here in the fourth as Jacksonville won't give up. And a stop is made in the backfield by St. Derek Marks. Sankey loses a few. The defense forces a third down and 13. Mettenberger outside and knocked away by Dwayne Gratz. Pass a little bit behind Kendall Wright. Jacksonville trying to make this one interesting. First down and 10, screen for Robinson, and Zach Brown makes the play. Loss of four to begin the drive. The offense has just had too many negative and backwards plays. Second and 14, Bortles steps up and he's sacked again. Jarrell Casey. Just not enough offensive consistency. Third down and 18, Bortles down the middle and what a catch made by Marquise Lee. No way. How did he catch that? Bortles hit again, puts the perfect touch on it, and Lee makes a fantastic catch. This drive continues. Bortles complete the TJ Yeldon. The Jaguars move the chains again. Inside eight minutes, Jaguars go empty. Zone blitz. Pass complete to Thomas, and a face mask at the end by Marqueston Hoff. Jacksonville continues driving now in the red zone. First down and 10, Bortles stumbles, regains his footing, and throws a touchdown! Aurelius Ben! It's a one-score game in Jacksonville. Great job by Bortles, it's a three-point game. 37-34 with 7.40 to go in the game, and Mettenberger just threw a pick! Jacksonville has the football, Dan Scuda makes the play! Mettenberger with a terrible throw. Maybe the rain played a factor, and the offense is back out there. From the 30, TJ Yeldon carries for around three yards. Again in the offset eye, now inside seven minutes. Fake to Yeldon, Bortles has a man, it's Thomas, and he scores! The Jaguars are on top! In just over five and a half minutes, they erase a 17-point deficit. I cannot believe what we're seeing right now, and there's still six minutes to play. Tennessee gets a first down on this pitch to Bishop Sankey. Five and a half to go from the 34. Mettenberger downfield and overthrows Delaney Walker, incomplete. At the 36, another third down for Tennessee. Mettenberger down the middle and knocked away. Demetrius McCray with another deflection. I'm not sure what came over this team, but this quarter has been a lot of fun. Hand off Yeldon, he won't go far, maybe a gain of one. 3.06 to go on the clock, a third down and eight. Bortles will pass for it. And he throws complete to Julius Thomas, and that will move the sticks. Two minutes left to play in the game. Yeldon gets the carry on second down, and he meets Arakbo and Williamson. Timeout Titans. Bortles in the shotgun on third down and eight. Titans bring five. Bortles to Thomas. Catch is made, but he had to come back for it. And the Titans get the stop. Fourth down. 
We're hoping for one more stop from the defense. Brian Anger kicks this one away. Good punt. It sails toward Trey McBride. He fields from the 10 and is stopped shy of the 25. Titan Bowl four-point game, a minute 43 left. They open empty, and the Jaguars didn't like that look. They call a timeout. Now the Titans change their look. Out of the shotgun, first and 10. Mettenberger fires, and that's intercepted by McCray inside the 20, and Jacksonville will take over. Another turnover. What a fourth quarter for the Jacksonville Jaguars. McCray makes another big play. At the four, a minute 32 left. Yeldon carries, and he stopped around the two. Running the clock inside 50 seconds. Third and goal. Yeldon up the middle, stopped again. Jaguars have to settle for three, but there's not much time left. Tennessee can call one play. They need a touchdown here. Back to pass is Zach Mettenberger. Clock strike zero. He throws deep, and the pass is incomplete. The Jacksonville Jaguars have defeated the Tennessee Titans. 44 to 37 with an incredible fourth quarter comeback. Jacksonville back in the win column. What a game this was. Combined it was a 39 point fourth quarter and the Jaguars somehow overcome two pick sixes, a safety and some very bad offensive play but put together an excellent 12 minutes in the fourth quarter and win the game. I thought the defense played pretty well the entire game. They weren't very good in the first possession, but we adapted, played a lot more man coverage, doubled some receivers at times, did some robber coverage as well, and it worked. Our man coverage was great. A lot of deflections and contested catches. We also forced three turnovers. I was very happy with the defense. I was also very happy with this play in particular, the third and 18 conversion. This was the play of the day. Blake Bortles, hit as he passes, puts the perfect amount of touch on this throw, and Marquise Lee makes the biggest catch of his young NFL career. That's one of my favorite plays that will ever be on my channel. That play was perfect. Awesome game for Jacksonville. They pull off an unlikely comeback. And now we look ahead to our next matchup. The Jaguars will take on the San Diego Chargers, who are a seven-win team, but are coming off a loss. It's going to be a very tough matchup, and we can't make the mistakes we did today. Now for this week's prospect preview, we're going to look at a tight end this time around. Michael Riley from Bowling Green State. 6'6", 260. His top three skills are all in the receiving game. Catching, catching traffic, and spectacular catch. What I'm hoping is that with that size, he also has some run blocking ability. Mercedes Lewis is our best run blocker, but he's 31 years old. I'm looking to find his successor. Now Ben Koyak has the best run blocking stat on the team, but he has 68 strength, so that's not gonna work. That still makes Lewis the best run blocker at tight end. Let me know which position you would like to see previewed next episode, and that is going to do it for today. Week 11 is complete, and the Jaguars get a victory. They're now 2-8, and, and we'll face the 7-3 San Diego Chargers next episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the excellent comeback. I'm sure not very many saw that one coming the way the game was playing out. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below your thoughts on today's game and who impressed you in the comeback effort. And subscribe for much more Jacksonville Jaguars franchise to come. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.